Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial in the course of MRI preprocessing techniques. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about intensity normalization. What is intensity normalization? It is a technique to standardize the intensities of the image. It is useful to make images uh, more comparable by bringing them uh, their intensities into a common scale. So I got this definition from this paper. And here we have a visual example of how it looks like. So, having said that, let's start. So, there are multiple methods available. For the course, we will use one called histogram matching. This method adjusts the distribution of intensity values of an image using an image of reference. So now we have loaded our raw example to work with. As I told you, the histogram matching method requires an image of reference. This is usually a template and it can be uh, any reference image, but uh, usually it's, the t it's a template. So given said that we load the template, it is the same M and I 152 template. We use it in previous videos. So let's see. So now we use the function sitk.histogram-matching to do this operation. We pass the raw image and we pass the template image that we have loaded. So if we plot this, now the intensity values have changed. This is the result of adjusting the distribution of the intensities to the template image. So besides these visual changes, let's compute the statistics and compare to see the effect in the intensity values. We use the statistics filters we know. We create an instance and we execute it with the raw image. We're gonna compute the minimum, the maximum. We're gonna do the same for the template, the minimum and the maximum. And we're going to do the same for the transformed version. So let's execute this. And let's see. So now as you can see, the raw image has this mean value of 0 and max value of 941. For the template image, we have uh, the following value. And 97 for the max value. And if you notice, now the transformed image has the same values as the template image. So this is, the, uh, this is a way to confirm that the distribution have changed. So now you know what it is intensity normalization and how to do it with histogram matching in SIGK. This is the only intensity normalization method we will use. From my experience, this works okay as a default normalization. Although other methods could work better for a specific type of study. So that's all by now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.